Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Inn. I, I am really getting into this. Who knew? I've been learning so much. Who knew there was so much depth to a game like this? We're going to be getting into a lot of that. If you want to see more, there's going to be a live stream tonight, my regular Sunday live stream, uh, 7, 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. UK time. And, uh, and we're going to be playing more Crossroads Inn. That's how much I'm into this game. Right, let's get on with it. What do I want to do? Okay, I'm going to pause this because I've got, I've got some changes to make. First thing I'm going to do, um, I made a mistake. Uh, I made this... If, if we go down to, let's see, where is it? Uh, no, services here. I've got two main halls. This is a main hall. It's not designated as a kitchen. But it really is to change because all you do is um, click on the room info. And you can see this is designated as a main hall. And we just change it to kitchen. And then it says, uh, kitchen is one of the most important, important rooms. Equip it with blah, 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 blah. Now, there is... Um, there isn't a, a ch you know what, I can, be, be, just before, yeah, actually, no, you know what, I'm going to be in building mode anyway, so I can leave it running. Um, so if I go into building mode, I'm going to extend my kitchen slightly. So I want to extend the room, kitchen, so I want to go out here, and I'm going to go around the corner like that, and there. Right, that'll do. Hooray. And then, oh, yeah, I'm also going to put the nice floor down, which I like, so let's put, let's put, Nice bit of floor down. Cool. Alrighty. We'll let them uh, we'll let them build that. Uh, I'm gonna move some stuff around. Um, you know what? Get it built. Get it built for me, quick. Come on. You gonna do some building? There we go. Hooray! There was much rejoicing. Okay, so now we'll go into uh, furnishing. So the um, let's see. What do I want to do with the washing? I'm Let's move the washing up things over there. Now I need to, I need a cooker, and we're going to use this one. And it's for some recipes that I need. You'll see that in a minute when I do the recipes. Uh, let's flip this around that way, and we'll put the we'll put the cooker in there. So what is it? Simple stove. That's what we wanted. And then um, oh, one other thing I didn't do was this barrel. This is supposed to be for dry goods. So let's set the storage to dry goods. Cool. Um, I, I probably need more barrels to draw to, to sort of dry stuff, but you know what? We'll live with that for now, I think. I, I'm kind of, I was kind of wondering about putting that round that corner, actually. Um, am I going to do that? You know what? I might, I, might, I might just put that round there. Kind of sort of out of the way-ish. Uh, and then um, maybe put another wood storage in yeah let's put another wood storage in and now that I've actually got some room so if we've got we've got two on I could put let me put another barrel in for dry storage uh, so let's flip you around that way oh can I get can I oh I can squeeze two in all right let's put two barrels in and get out of there and that's going to be for dry storage and that's going to be for dry storage hooray okay good news oh man uh right what next what next oh i wanted to put some uh, wallpaper in let's get all the building stuff out of the way first so let's that's the staircase that's the wallpaper what am i going to do what do i want to do with the walls um hmm what do i want to do with the walls there's so many different nice, there's lovely wall styles to choose from. This this red is kind of nice, but maybe we'll, maybe we we'll just go with a. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to go with the red. I'm copying Catherine of Sky, who's you know, the same same. Look, but I love the way it looks. So um, hold down the shift key, boom. There's the whole room done. So we're going with a nice red theme, and then am I going to am I going to finish off the floor? I think I probably am. So that's going to be there. Um, I'm just going to put one of these in for now. I might put some extra barrels across here. I haven't decided yet. I, I suppose what I could do, it's this, isn't it? Let's do that. All right, cool. And then, uh, then we're going to go to some furnishings and, and do, uh, do some, some furnishings. Cause I want more, want more room in my inn. So let's go, uh, we want, I'm going to put in a couple of benches couple of tables. I should have done these ones as well while I was doing it. So bench, bench, table, table, and then flip it around. Boom, and bench.
bench, 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 bench. Hooray. Now, there's, um, there's a thing called the tool shelf, which I want. And the way you get the tool shelf is um, to unlock it. And the tool shelf, this is the tool shelf over here. No, that's the garden. Uh, this is the tool shelf here, this one. Unlocks a tool shelf to speed up and raise the quality of tasks performed. That'll help us keep the place um, tidier. So we'll unlock that. And let's see, what, what else does that unlock? Cauldrons, workers get tired more slowly. It's interesting. Oh, employees have a chance of overhearing rumors. Ooh, I like that. That's gonna get us more of these scrolls, I think. So go on, we'll unlock, uh, I've got one more available. Oh, is there anything else that I want before that? That's the, the un unlocks darts, unlocks a dormitory. Oh, this allows for a new type of guest, outlaws. Ooh, should we bring outlaws in? I think we should. Go on, unlock outlaws. Ho, ho, ho. The only thing with unlocking outlaws is I probably need to hire a guard now, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, so what's next? What's next? Uh, put the tool shelf in, Sky. All right, I'll do that then. I, you know what? This, people have been saying this is the wrong way around, right? But this is actually the way I want it. But I want to actually put it up against the wall. I'm going to put it over there. And then I'm going to grab our new, there's our tool shelf, the tool shelf. Don't be, don't be a, a tool, install a tool shelf. <laughs> I like that. And that needs to be flipped around that way and go in. And I'm gonna put it right next, yeah, let's put it right next to it. Cool. And I, I've now got some space. I can have some extra barrels if I want, but I'm not gonna do that right now, it's fine. Okay, so we can get our furnished mine. Right, next, 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 woodshed. Woodshed, we need a woodshed. Why do we need a woodshed? Well, if I go to the, um, to the book, there's a thing, um, actually we haven't even, I don't think we've even got it yet, but there's a thing to get, um, uh, there's a task to get a hundred uh, firewood. So we, and we want somewhere to put the wood anyway. Oh, while I think about it, let's get all of these removed. Remove that, remove that, and remove that. Woodshed, where's the woodshed? Furnishing, outside stuff. There it is, the woodshed. It's gonna cost me 700, good Lord. Um, Flip it around that way. Where can I go? I can, I can just about squeeze it in there. They can just get through there. So, and it's like fairly close to the, where they're chopping wood so that they can put that over. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost tempted to move the chopping wood to there. You know what, I think I'm gonna do that. If I move that over one, can I move that? Yes, Ooh, no. If I move it over one more, then I can probably, yes. Let's flip that around that way. Oh, serious. What? Oh, I can put it there. Hooray. Woohoo. Awesome source. All right, so we've got that done. Oh, man. There are just so many things to think about and focus on. Right, uh, that's the wood chair. Right, now we need to sort out our recipes. Now, um, porridge. I don't have access to anywhere that, I, that sells beans at the moment, so there's no point having porridge on the menu. So let's get rid of that for starters. Then, so what do I, what do I want? Now... I definitely know that I can get the stuff for bread soup. So let's put that on the menu. And uh, fried eggs, I can also get that stuff. So let's put that on the menu. And that's it. Garlic bread, I, I, I don't have anywhere that sells spice. This is spice. Don't have anywhere that sells spice. So we're just gonna go with bread soup and fried eggs for now. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, okay, so that's, um, that's a couple of recipes set up. What do we want next? Next, um, trade routes. Let's go to the world map. Let's look at the world. Look, look. it's so cool, the the whole world idea. And it's, it's there's so much in depth about this. Let me show you a couple of things on the world map that I've, I've discovered. Uh, and, and a big thanks to Catherine of Sky for helping me out with some of these, uh, some of these tips. So, okay, so you wanna know where to get food, for example, or, or, or anything really. Then if you click on this, it brings up all of these icons. Now let's take, um, where's, where's something? That, okay, so we want fat. Now this is the icon for fat. Now if you move over that icon, it shows you the areas where it is produced in green, right? And those are the areas where it will be cheapest to buy it, very importantly. And then you've got this. This shows you where you can find new recipes. So for example, there's a recipe down here. Uh, in Timidisolder for oatmeal berry cookies, 
for which you need nuts, berries, and that's cereal. So, and that's uh, that's something that travellers like. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, what's this one down here? Uh, nope, can't see that one yet. One, what's this one? This one is uh, shortbread fruit tart. Eggs, um, grapes, nuts, and flour. I do wish this had tooltips on, but you do get used to these fairly quickly. Uh, it looks like noblemen like that. Uh, there's a recipe here. Egg paste. Outlaws like that. Ooh, we should get... And it's eggs, fat, and herbs. We can get that. Ooh, we should go and get that. Now, okay, so how do you get that recipe? Well, if, you, if we go to... If we go to here... Oh, oh, it's available. It's available. In some places, if I turn this off for a second, in some places, if we go to, let's see, where, okay, so Plowven, for example, which we haven't unlocked, um, you'll see we can't, we can't go and get that recipe. There isn't an option to go and get that recipe. And if we go and have a look in here, you'll see we need to gain influence before we unlock the recipe. Now, while we're on the subject of this, one of the things is setting up trade routes, right? Now, if we look at Plowven, Plowven, if we try and set up a trade route, it says you don't have enough influence in this town to establish a new trading route. Okay, so how do we gain influence? Well, you can use the town crier, which will uh, which will give you influence, which is which is a good thing. The other way of doing it, and the quick way of doing it, is um, is to use these these blue scrolls. We've got ten. Now, if we get uh, an influence of five, it'll unlock the trade route. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to unlock Plowven. Cool. And then we go back. Now we can unlock the trade route, but it's going to cost us either 22 green scrolls, which are an economic gossip, or it's 550 gold. I'm going to spend the gold. Boom. And look, that's unlocked a bunch more towns. So we've got now we've got Giligor. We've got access to them, their market. We've got Cursed Hill. Uh, Unto much back we already had. Uh, Melberg Market. Uh, we haven't unlocked Melberg yet. Uh, we've got Shadow Monastery down here. Uh, we haven't unlocked Eccentric Lord. The other trade, so I've, I've extended a bit out here. I also want to extend a bit down here because we, we want to spread out so that we get access to the, the, the most products. So Rickety down here, if we have a look, this is also just five scrolls will get us the trade route. So, yes, do it. And... Unlock the trade route. Again, 20 scrolls or 500 gold. I'm going to spend the gold. Do it. All right. So that has now opened up a whole bunch of towns down here. We already had the Bank of, of um, Sambria. But we've got Happy Village and Deaf Arthur, Crazy Francis, Timmy Disolder, Blood Village over there. We've got access to that. Um, we already had Rockbury and Incredible Farmers. Okay. So we've opened up some trade routes. Awesome. Now that we've done that, I want to get some some stuff coming in some supplies so uh, now I have been I have been doing a bit of practicing and I've been looking around the place and trying to figure out let's, let's pause while I'm talking to you uh, I've been trying to figure out like where are the best places to get things so that I don't have to spend time looking around so uh, we are going to go to Rickety first go to the market there this is where I can get um, cheap wine this is the cheapest wine anywhere uh, now, these prices do change. They do go up and down. So you've got to keep looking around to see where the best prices are. But this will do for now. So we're going to go, let's see. Um, they're good for wine. They've also got the cheapest eggs. So I'm going to get, I think, one, two, maybe three wine. Now, remember, you start off with a transport cost. So you want to make sure you're buying in bulk. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go for, let's see, one, two, three... Um, I said, oh, what am I getting? Eggs. I, you know what? I'm going to get three wine. And I'm going to get seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, there is, um, there is an upgrade that you can get to upgrade your wagon so that it will have 15 spaces, which cuts down on your cost, which is also a good thing. But... Uh, you know, am I gonna am I gonna do that now this actually tells you how much you've got in stock already so if I go down here it tells you how much I've got in stock or it should do <laughs> which it isn't at the moment that's kind of annoying uh, yeah it's not it's not updating that why are you not updating that okay never mind so we'll do three wine and seven eggs okay buy it 
Okay. That cost me 500 straight away. Uh, lager. Cheapest place for lager? Pluven. Pluven. It's like it's like 53, 54, something like that the last time I looked. Oh, it's gone up a bit. 57. Is there anywhere? Cursed Hill. Price of lagers. Oh, price of lagers on the rise, I think. Gilligore. Let's see. Gilligore. Gilligore 60. So I think Pluven, still the cheapest, 57. So in since the price is going up by the looks of it, I am going to just buy 10. I'm going to stock up. Right, so that's um, that's my lager. Let's buy that. Right, fat. Who doesn't like a nice bit of fat? Armless man. Good little place, this. Armless man. Where's fat? Fat, 49. That'll do. And also, cheap candles here. So I think we'll build, we'll pick up like three candles because we need to, we need candles to replace the candles in our uh, in our candelabras and chandeliers and whatever. And then what did what did I say I was going to get from here? Uh, fat wasn't it? Yeah, fat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's another seven hundred. Can you see how the how fast the cash goes down? Right. Done. What else do I need? I need sausage for my uh, for my bread soup. It's got sausage in it. For that best place I found is uh, this place. Uh, no, 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 no. Over uh, Melberg Market, Melberg Market. Sausage, 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 sausage down here because it begins with S. Uh, One twenty-one. Okay, that's cheap. That's actually dropped. Uh, at the start of the game, it was one twenty-seven. It's dropped to one twenty-one. That's awesome. You can see how quickly the prices uh, do fluctuate. So, I think how much sausage do I want? Well, where am I getting bread from? Okay. We want a, we probably want a fair amount. What's um what else got oh wood is twelve which is which is pretty cheap. It's not the cheapest. I've seen it at eleven, but you know what? I think let's get one, two, three, four, five, six sausage coming in. And one, two, three, four wood. Okay, so Boom, that's another, almost another thousand gone, jeez. Okay, so I've got wood, candles, bread, eggs, fat, sausage, wine and lager coming in. Hooray, and there was much, much rejoicing. And if I actually crank this up, you'll see all of the, the wagons coming out of the, the places that I've bought. And if, if you mouse over them, it'll show you. That, so there's a cargo arriving in five hours with lager. That's my, that's my eggs coming in. That's somebody else's. That's somebody else's. Uh, oh, there's um, there's our fat <laughs> coming in. Awesome. All right. So, oh man, now we've got all of that stuff. Uh, we can. I, I I need to look at my pricing, don't I? Yes, I do. So my fried eggs. Uh, you know what? Before before I set my pricing, let's um, let's just have a look. Can I do an upgrade? No, nope, no upgrades available. I was I was thinking of maybe getting the. The, the pricing upgrade, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll manage. Okay, so pricing. I want to bring it back till the mouth goes straight, which is there, 57. And bread soup, uh, that's the point, 72. Cool, alrighty. Oh, look, there's lots of people coming along, what are you? You're, uh, oh, yep, yep, yep. You're a distressed of the peasants. You're walking by. What are you? Oh, you're a peasant. Why aren't you coming in, meanie? All right, we're, we're filling up. It's looking good. So let's see. How are we doing at the moment? Day five has just started, apparently. So we've got no income, no guests. Our expenses are 138. Profits uh, minus 138. All right, so you know what? I need to hire some more staff um let's make sure this stuff is getting removed my he's probably busy so okay let's get um let's get some staff organized what do i want or what can i get more more to the point oh okay pause uh, uh pause now yeah, no carry on uh servant i could really do with another servant you know what let's do it this way let's clear that. okay oh we've got we can hire a maid now th this is the next rank up 
it's servant, maid, and then housekeeper. But look at the difference in salary. It's massive. So, oh, some of our booze has turned up. Awesome sauce. Right, uh, servant, to be honest, you're sickly, you're sly, and aren't you smart? You know what? We're going to hire you anyway, because I, I need to. Uh, I'm going to hire probably both of these guys. Uh, oh, you're a slacker. I'm not hiring a slacker, Drudge. You're dull and gloomy. <laughs> Al Selmo, you're hired. I like. I want somebody who's really dull, really gloomy or whatever. Hire a second labourer. All right, so we've completed that. So we, what did we? What did we get for doing that? Let's have a look. Uh, did we, what was it called? Extra hand, wasn't it? Extra hand. Oh, we got five hundred gold extra. Nice. What else? What else do I want to hire? Let's go back to my hiring. Um, I want an extra cook. So, um, let's see, to get rid of that. No, yeah, no, uh, that's what I want. So we've got a cook, cook, kitchen hand. Hugo, ooh, you're gloomy. You're la oh, he's lazy, that's not good. He's a perfectionist, and he's tough. That is really not what we want. Falk is an alcoholic gossiper. Gossiper is good. Uh, and he's persuasive. Helps us make more money. What about Vaughn? Uh, this is that's very expensive though. He's lawful, sly, uh, but he is speedy. Ooh, I don't, I don't think we can afford it. But I need, I really do need another kitchen hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hire this loser. He's awful. God. I, I don't think I can afford to hire Vaughn, though. He's so expensive. Oh, i, I got to say, I'm kind of tempted, though. He's, he's not bad. Lawful, sly, Your and speedy. Up. You know what? I'm, I'm going to hire him. I'm going to hire him. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to hire him. Now, because we've got outlaws coming in, um, that's an adventurer. You're a swindler. You don't He's a bit expensive. I don't think we can afford that at the moment. Let's, uh, oh, there's no, there, oh man, there's no tough guys. There's no guards that we can hire at the moment. That sucks. Uh, so there's one drudge, that maid. One kitchen hand. Okay, well. We'll, uh, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. We'll try and hire some more people. I want at least another, another maid. Okay, so they're coming out and they're getting this stuff done. Good. You know what? Let's crank. Look at all this stuff that's got to be moved. I re you know, I really could do with another drudge, I think. So, like, it's just Ibrahim, who apparently isn't coming up when I click on him. Why? Got Lydia. There we go. He's he's a slacker, though. Like, do we really want to hire a slacker? Oh man, he has got he has got other traits that we can potentially unlock, uh, but it's the blue scrolls, and I'm using the blue scrolls for other things. So, uh, he's well, okay. He's figured it out. Good. I may have to move that if people are going to get stuck. Your patrons say you're in is dirty. Okay. Uh, do I? You know what? He's dirt. He's dirt cheap though. You know what? I'm going to hire him. I'm going to hire him. Bring him in. Um, we got any, some, any more cooks? Hugo, he was he was gloomy, lazy, and a perfectionist. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, the reason I want to, you know what? I'm going to hire him. I'm going to hire him. Why? Because one of the things that we can do is go out to the to this map uh, and look for recipes. Yeah, now let's see. Oh, I wanted this one, didn't I? Your employee is leveling up. Let's have a look. This is the this is the egg paste, which would be for for outlaws, and it's eggs which we've got lard, and so I just need herbs. So let's send Hugo to go and get that. Hugo, go and get that recipe for me. Cool. Uh, what's this recipe? I, I can't access that one. Uh, what's this recipe over here? This is. Sheep stuffed. <laughs> I love some of these. Oh, hello. 
The local chef is not interested in sharing his knowledge with anyone, but your employee is not one to give up. He spends countless hours at the door of his tavern trying to get his attention, persuade him, or just give him no chance for a quiet moment. Eventually, the talented cook agrees to teach him how to prepare the meal. This will cost 200 guldens. Uh, yeah, pay it, learn the recipe. Boom, done. All right, let's slow it down. Let's go to here. We want to add that. So what do, I, what do I want? I want egg paste. The, the fat hasn't arrived yet. And we need herbs. So I've got to find herbs now. Good Lord. All right, let's put that, uh, put it on the menu. Egg paste goes on the menu. Awesome. Now, uh, let's see, make sure that you can cook all of these things. So this simple stove, this will do uh, garlic bread and fried eggs. The cauldron will do uh, porridge and the bread soup. So what do we need to cook those uh, the egg paste? I need to go back and look at the restaurant. So egg paste needs... Oh, it needs a kitchen table. Your employee is leveling Your up. Reputation is improving. So let's go to uh, furnished mode and we'll grab a kitchen table. Uh, now, where am I going to put this kitchen table? I'm, I'm thinking maybe flip it around. Um, uh, well, I was going to flip it around, put it there. You know what? Yeah, it goes in. There we go. So now, with a bit of luck and the wind in the right direction... We can now make, yes, egg paste. Woohoo! But that means I need some herbs. So now I've got to go and find herbs. So let me show you how this works. So, like I said, we want to we want to put that on, and then we want to look for the herbs icon. Uh, herbs, 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 herbs. Can you see herbs anywhere? I can't see herbs anywhere. But I am blind, so. Uh, oh, come on. Where the hell are herbs? <laughs> I don't see herbs anywhere. Honey, fat, garlic. Uh, come on. Come on. There's got to be some blooming herbs around here somewhere. No, 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 no. I can't see herbs anywhere. Uh, oh, come on. Where are the herbs, damn it? No, I, oh, that, now that's that's um, spicy herbs. That's like chili herbs. But that's not the one that we want. Oh, man. <laughs> Seriously, what? Oh, I can't believe I can't see it. Um, no, that's not the herbs that we want. Oh, the, uh, oh, no, that's spice down there. So that's where I need to go to get spice. I need to come down a bit. That's... I think that that might be pepper. Some of them are very. That's just hot spice again. Oh come on, come on! Where's the where's the blooming herbs? <laughs> I picked like that's hot spice again. I picked the most difficult thing to bloom and find. Ah, there's herbs. Right. So if I zoom out and then mouse over that, so ah, so there's herbs up there. Okay, so. We might find some, like, um, probably Incredible Mar Farmers is going to be one of the best places. Herbs, 73 average, price is 87. You know what? I don't think we're going to do better than that. Um, incredible Farm. That That's the closest to that area. We can try Rockbury. What was it? 73 here at 76. So, yeah, we will go to Incredible Farmers. And I'll buy, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, five. let's bring in seven. Uh, how much are mugs? Oh, mugs are pretty cheap there. You know, I'll buy ten mugs. How much are plates? Plates are fairly cheap as well. Bring me a plate as well. And wine, let's see. No, nah, it's a little bit pricey. So I think maybe... Oh! Oh, we've got our, we've got that gather a hundred pieces of firewood. Nice. Um, go on, I'll just I'll just get one more herb. Buy it. Another eight hundred and forty three spent. Boom. Alrighty. So once that gets in, we'll be able to cook those um those egg pastes. All right. So let's have a little bit of a look at how thing how things are going on in the, in the tavern. 
how we all do it. Now, I'm sure, if I don't mention it, I'll get comments, so I better mention it. Oh, let's speed it up. Let's pick one of my servants and uh, go into the about. There is a thing here where you can set the priorities for particular people. Like, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to be prioritised cleaning or waiting tables or whatever? At the moment, I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Um, I will probably mess around with it later, but... Okay, we've got... Now, we, we're getting quests for adventurers. If we go to the, the notice board, you can see we're getting chests. Chase away the invaders, violet bandits. But I haven't hired any adventurers yet. Um... Go into the hiring, let's see. We've got any new people. Oh, we've got Hakon, who's a drudge. He is, he's a perfectionist. Huh. Yeah. Leave him alone. Uh, was, there, was there anybody else worth it? I really could do with hiring a guard. And there's, oh, that, no, those are croupiers. It's not adventurers. Adventurers just show up, I think. I haven't got that far. There's, there's so much to this damn game. All right, let's look at our recipes. So, the in menu. Oh my God, we've got egg paste on the menu, guys. So, let's see. Let's see how we've been doing. Well, let, well, first of all, let's go over here. So, what are, we've got the firewood one, which is forewarned is forearmed. That gives us 10 random gossips. Did it, did it give us 10 random gossips? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think some of these... Um, some of these rewards actually happen. I don't know, I could be wrong, but we'll see. Yeah, is what it is. Uh, so, uh, transport arrived, okay, cool. So let's go and have a look at the statistics then. So, income, 1,000, expense, 1,375, but why is that? Well, let's have a look. Food sales, drink sales, drink sales yesterday, 3,096. Oh, have 100 guests in your inn. Peachy, did anybody see that guy? You know, I'm going to go back and watch this video and see that if that went up by 500, because I'm pretty sure that the reward for that is 500 gold. What was it? A small crowd. Oh no, fame rises. So in that case, our fame should have gone up. So, so uh, no, it's, it's the, where do I see fame? Is it in the journal? Uh, I don't think it is in the journal. Where is it? Is it in there? Is it in here? It shows me fame. fame. Is it saying fame zero? Huh. So I don't know about that. Anyway, anyway, skip that. So let's see. How are we doing? Let's, uh, let's go to... Uh, this tells you your sales. So we're selling loads and loads of lager. Oh, we've started selling some fried eggs. Oh, we've started selling egg paste. Selling some bread soup. Nice. Uh, I should check. Uh, I should check to see whether we got any unlocks. Oh, we got one unlock available. <laughs> so let's see. This increases the amount of money people are willing to pay for food and drinks. That's. I've got to say that's kind of tempting. And it, if I, especially if I unlock this one, because you do you do get uh, multiples of these. Uh, especially if I unlock this one, it'll unlock. It, it'll allow me to go into this area. This unlocks the garden trellis which allows you to uh, to grow climbing plants like beans. And that means I could do porridge, which would be kind of cool. Uh, what else? This is, um, oh, this lowers the costs of building rooms. You know what? I really should have done that one before I extended the uh, the kitchen. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, oh, that one's the rumors. Ooh, should I do the room? You know what? I think I'm going to do the rumors one first. Yeah, unlock that. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that one next. To the get them. Get paying more. Give me your money. Give me your money. Your say you're in oh man! I, I tell you what. We've got through a lot of stuff in this in this episode. Let's see. Oh look, income's coming up. Um, expensive because we, we we like spent a lot. Resources. Look, we spent four and a half thousand on resources. But we're very close to making a profit. Come on. Come on. Spend your money. Yes, we're making a profit. We're into profit territory. Oh, awesome. They're making my blooming in dirty, though. Should we see if we can uh, hire another cleaner? It would be awesome if we... Well, cleaner. Oh, we, oh, we can get a bouncer. Ooh, their bouncers are expensive. 
Ooh, I think we've run out of candles. Yeah, well, we've run out of candles. No. Um, no. We, we, we need a we need a, a servant. We need another server. I think. Yeah, we definitely need another server. We don't have enough candles. I did order some candles. Let's have a look at our re. Uh, that's right. So look at our resources. Can I've got twenty candles? What the hell are they talking about? I say they're lit again now. Awesome. So we're we're down to let's see, fifty-eight sausages, sixty-three lard, sixty-three eggs. We've got fifty-eight lager, thirty-four wine. We've got plenty of um, cups and plates, so that's good. We're a little bit low on bread. Yeah, I need to get some bread coming in. And probably, probably some more lager. The lager absolutely flies out the door. Let's see, when I get bread, bread was, oh, bread I get close by. Um, lager was pluven, wasn't it? So, all right, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. So what do I want? Incredible farmers, bread, please. So, you know what? I'm just going to order 100 bread. Cost me 620. Boom. Bring the bread in, and let's go over to Pluven, and we'll order some more lager. Lager. We all like a nice lager. Uh, 56, so it's gone up a couple of, I, I think it's gone up a couple of gold, hasn't it? Or was it? Yeah, I don't know, anyway. Uh, but I'm gonna order 100 lager. 100 lager, on the way, boom. Your employee is leveling up. Cool, our employees are leveling up. We'll get there, we'll get there. Oh, man. Now, as we get more of this um, this gossip and whatever, I'm going to be open, able to open up more of these trade routes and like get more recipes and also objects. There's all kinds of objects that you can get. So this is a this is a comfortable outhouse over here. This is a it's a decorative shield. This is a dartboard. This is a picture and there's a, uh, a a very very fancy bed. This is a gaming table over here. Um, this is a little decorative table, chest of drawers, all things that you can go and get. I really want to get this, this banner. That looks awesome. Um, there's a, a, hunt, a hunting horn. Oh, fancy chandelier. Don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Comfy chair. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, if you don't know about the comfy chair... Put her in the comfy chair. I, I have no idea what the hell that is. Seriously, I have no idea what that is. Is it like, I like, the only thing I can think is it's like a mattress or something. I have no idea. Um, that's got to be like a wardrobe. That's a wardrobe. That's a bed. Another bed. There's loads of, loads of stuff to unlock. I love it. I love it. Let's go back. See, how are we doing? Oh, we've had stuff arrive, which is cool. What's this? Oh, that's the bread. That's the bread that's arrived. Look at that shipped in. So let's have a look. Yeah, we've got all of our recipes going. Uh, let's have a look at the guests for a second. Where's the Where's the guests? This is guests. And what I want to see is, do we have any outlaws? Uh, that's outlaws. Yes, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six outlaws. Seven outlaws now. Hooray. And we've got loads of distressed. Oh, look, place is bustling. Seriously, guys, cool game, isn't it? I mean, I, know, I haven't run across, really, any any bugs. I know there are some bugs in the game, but I am very... Look, look at how guys are on top of this. Can I... Oh, please let me, please let me hire another... No, still, still no serving girls that I can hire. It's a shame. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, is there any more recipes? You know what? That'll have to wait for that. I'll, I'll, I'll send out because we've got three kitchen hands. So I'll, I'll go out and get some more recipes coming in. There is, a, you know what? I will show you. Nah, that's great. I'll show you. <laughs> There's a recipe that I want to get. Where is it? Down here. I, I want to get this um, this recipe down here. Cottage pancakes, cheese, milk, and flour. You know, get, you know, go get it. Here you go. Go get that recipe. I want pancakes. Oh, I, you know what? I'd like this recipe as well. I, you know what? Go and get that one, and then we'll maybe we'll do these. Um, what are they? Cookies. But they're for travellers, so I'd need to unlock travellers. Oh, man. It's, it's awesome. Now, I tell you what. If you if you don't like micromanagement, 
you, you may not like this game because you have got to constantly be aware of your resources and be going out and constantly ordering more stuff. There's no automatic ordering, but that's really the heart of the game. And if you want to turn a profit, then you've got to hunt down the bargains and be buying the cheapest stuff. And I'll tell you how, what a difference it makes. Like, you're buying 100 items, right? You're buying 100 items. Let's slow this down. You're buying 100 items. Um, if you can save two gold, you just saved yourself 200 gold. That's a lot of cash. And it really does make a difference to uh, to the kind of profits you make. Let's, um, let's get out of here. Let's go back. Let's, let's finish off with a look at the statistics then. So, oh my God, look at the profit we're making. 11.45 profit. A d and that's a day. That's in a day. Holy, holy fuzzy cats, as Catherine of Sky would say. Oh my God, that's fairly. You know what? Look, look. It's the it's the outlaws. The outlaws are spending money. It, the, the outlaws, the outlaws tend to be like very pleasure seeking, and if you've got what they want, they'll spend money. Oh, that is incredible. Oh, we can get cottage pancakes for two hundred. Are we going to get it? Of course we bloomin' are. Get me pancakes. And you know what? While you're out there, um, you know, while you're out there, oh, I've got to wait for him to come back before I can send him out again. Oh, guys, I just, I just want to carry on playing. So, guys, hurry up. Hurry up and come to the live stream. I'll put a link in the video description and uh, down, probably down in the comments as well. Uh, I'm going to be playing this tonight, 7 till 10 UK time. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.